guess who this is? Did you ever see him or... Oh, hello, oh, hello. Go on, my son. Get it out there. That's more like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a hula. He's the hula, hula champion of Santander for many, many years. How are we doing, everyone? I'm here at the studio at Talky Pro Shop, doing a bit of filming. For those of you that don't know what it looks like, here it is. Oh my lord, look at that look, Brad and Dan, best buddies. He's gone big time on us. So today I'm going to be talking through with you guys the importance of a warm up. And for those of you that don't really believe in a warm up, or don't believe it makes any difference, hopefully after watching this video, you might think twice. Okay, so my scenario is fairly straightforward. I'm just going to hit eight balls straight off the bat, collect the data, see what we can find. And I am going to be hitting this little monkey right here, my Titleist 917D3. Uh, been with me for about a year. Absolute beauty. Simple, simply lovely. Let's delve deep, shall we? That's good. see there from my first ball to the last ball my clubhead speed increased by eight miles an hour so if we take that onto the golf course let's say uh, you're one of the I don't know I want to say majority of people that often just turn up onto the first tee without hitting any balls at all guilty as charged let's say the first four holes you play are par fours uh, for the average golfer you're probably gonna hit a couple of full shots on the first hole a couple of full shots on the second hole a couple of full shots on the third hole couple of full shots on the fourth hole, right? It's not actually gonna to be to, to the fifth tee that you're beginning to peak out. And that's to say that I'm peaking out after eight balls. I think I've probably got a bit more left in the tank. So for a lot of people, when they say, oh, I always play better on the back nine, a lot of it is to do with being in the correct physical state before you actually start your game, as opposed to doing it at the halfway stage. Um, you'll also notice over here, you've got face impact, um, lateral and vertical, so that's basically strike. You see over here, the first two, they were a little bit toey, which I tend to do when I'm not warmed up properly. Then it begins to get better and better and better. So the last few strikes are really, really good. The main two I wanna look at over here is the yards off line. So you notice the first two were really, really bad. And that's something I wanna to touch on. The two first strikes that I hit way off line, uh, one was like 35 yards left and one was about 45 yards right. They were pretty much purely down to strike. The swing would have been exactly the same as the other six. It was just I wasn't able to find the middle of the club face with them. The uh, total yardage increases from top to bottom. First drive going at 274, last drive going at 308. So again, massive difference. With this all being said though, you don't really need me to tell you this. All you need to do is watch the mighty Jimenez warm up. What a beast. I'm actually going to show you my routine that I use every time before I go out and play golf. Probably just as weird, but in my opinion, just as effective as well.
cap. I think this video really highlights the importance of a warm up before a game of golf. And as you can see from the data as well, there's so many things that improves because of a warm up. So you've got strike, club head speed, distance. It's a no brainer, really, guys. Get it done, people. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscription button. Ciao for now.